Welcome to this week's DaVinci Resolved. Big thanks to Hello Court for his request this week for doing tricks with your reflection in the mirror. Let's get started. You can do this. You can do this. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what he thinks. <laughs> So I've already taken the shots that we made and I've imported them into Resolve and made them into a Fusion clip. So if we head to the Fusion tab, I'll show you the shots that I recorded to make this effect. First one I took was just of me acting in front of the mirror, walking in, and then continuing to act as the reflection. The second shot I took was of the same room uh, didn't move the camera, the camera is on a tripod, put a green screen up and acted in front of the green screen, trying to mirror the shot as well as I could from memory, knowing that as soon as I walk off, the other shot is still going to be playing. And finally, I took a clean plate of the background. Now, as you can see, I've very poorly just clone stamped out the camera that was in there, because as you can see, in the original shot, the camera, which was just my phone, is on a tripod. So I took that into Affinity Photo and very quickly clone stamped that out. Now I've also already used the keyframe tab to line our shots up. So I've taken the green screen footage and I've taken the mirror footage and I've lined them up appropriately so that they cross over at the correct time. Let's take our green screen footage and drag it directly over the mirror. And we'll hit 2 on the keyboard. And now we have our green screen merged over the mirror footage. Next thing we want to do is add a delta key node. And we also want to create a garbage map. But first we'll take our color picker and we'll pick from the background where we want to remove. And if we push 2 to put our delta key on the screen, and then A, we get to see our alpha channel, which is our transparency. So let's go to our refinement here and drag the threshold just to get rid of some of that grain. Let's play it through. Still got quite a lot of grain there, so let's turn that up and make sure we haven't affected our mat. Nope, that's looking good. And we also want to put a garbage mat in uh, because we don't want all of this be in our mat. So let's click on the rectangle, pull that out over the shape that we don't want, and then we'll drag that directly into our garbage mat input on the delta key, and that will disappear just like magic. Okay, so uh, let's hit A again and check. I'm going to see that merged over our footage. We want this to look as natural as possible. So you could, if we go to the delta key, just play around with the blur slightly to blur out our map but not too much because otherwise that will look not great and we can even erode our map slightly just to get something looking a bit more natural without those black lines around the outside and let's play that through okay it's already looking not too bad so now we want to remove our actor from the foreground in this clip and we want to remove the camera and we're going to do that using the clean plate so let's merge our clean plate over our footage. And we need to resize this, or I do, because I shot this in 4K. So I'm going to use resize. And by default, that will resize that to whatever your comp size is. So in my case, 1920 by 1080. So then we can use a simple mask to mask out parts of the clean plate that we don't want to be in view. So let's just view our mirror shot. And I'm going to click on spline. And I'm going to start drawing around all the parts we don't want to be in our shots. So for now, I'm going to just going to draw a sharp edge along the mirror line there, like that. And let's call this actor. And then I'm going to take another spline and I'm going to draw it just around the camera area because we want to get rid of this camera on the tripod. So let's remove that. And then we'll plug these into the mask input of our merge. Let's see what that looks like. 
Okay, great. So it's done part of the work for us. We just need to tidy this up. Let's rename this to camera. And then take this node and start playing with the soft edge to just soften that out to blend it in a bit. Picking up the border width. Okay, not too bad. It's getting there. Let's take our actor. Now I can see that I've left out a tiny piece of the arm here where it crosses in front of the mirror, but I'm pretty confident that our green screen footage will cover that, so I'm not going to worry too much. The last thing we could do is add a color corrector to our clean plate itself, just to blend it in slightly better with our original footage. So let's take a look. We've got quite a shadow going on here, so we're going to use our contrast gain lift controls to just try and blend this in slightly better. So let's switch back to our footage with the green screen merged over and play that through. And it's as simple as that, we're done. The only thing you could add now perhaps to improve it is some color correction in the color tab and then just add some camera shake on to give that camera a bit more of a natural movement so it feels a bit less like it's stuck on the tripod. So I appreciate that not everyone has access to a green screen, so I've gone ahead and created a version without it as well. Slightly less complex shot, but still quite a fun effect. So the first thing I did was film myself in the mirror as the reflection and tried to match up as best as I could the, the first part of the clip. And then if I just disable this clip here, you'll see that I also filmed myself reacting to the reflection. And once you've got these in Resolve, just place the reflection on top of your original clip. And then come in here and turn on cropping. With cropping, you can just crop it to the left or to the right. But I'm cropping to the right here. And then I'm turning up the softness slider. And that will seamlessly blend the two clips together. And if we play this. There we go. You'll see that the two shots look exactly the same. Now, just to add a tiny bit more realism to this, if we highlight our clips here, right click and make them into a new compound clip and call it reflection, just like that. We can then go into the effects library and add our good old friend camera shake to that compound clip. And now when we play back, a bit of camera shake Whoa, that's way too much. Okay, let's turn that right down. So let's turn the speed scale and the motion scale down. And yeah, there we go. Just helps to sell the effect a little bit more again, just so it doesn't look quite so locked off on a tripod. And it is that easy, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this week's tutorial. Thanks once again to HelloCorp for the request. I hope I was able to give you the info you needed to help with your project. Keep any requests coming in, I really enjoy a challenge and finding ways that we can use this awesome free software to create something cool. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.